What is up everybody? Today I'm back at you with another video and today we're going to talk about uh, these upcoming spy images of the Hyundai Kona N. So starting from the exterior, uh, Hyundai has been teasing this. They showed off a camouflage model before and now we have some more uh, better lit um, teasers um, that we can take a look at. So the first thing that we see is that basically they took the changes that are coming to the 2022 model and that goes a lot into the exterior design. Um, from these press uh, spy images or whatever leaked, um, we see that it's the car's a little bit lower than the standard Kona N here. Um, they have the red act accenting um, just like every other Hyundai N product. Um, these wheels, they kind of look like the wheels that are offered on, it's either the Tucson or the Kona. It's like a midnight edition trim. These look like the same type of wheels um, that we see here. Um, the headlight design is changed up. This is new in all the Kona and in all the Kona models in general. Um, we have the same daytime accent lighting, but they do have a three slot grill right at the top of the hood right here. Um, I kind of like it. Um, it kind of makes it look more aggressive than the previous Kona, tri um, Kona models. And then we have a two slot grills um, in the middle and then the, in the bottom parts. Now we also got a teaser of the back image too. The first thing we see is that they could put a spoiler right at the top and it has like this little brake light on it. I think those kind of brake lights they're inspired by uh, Formula One racing or something. Uh, so like drivers can see you when it's raining. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I kind of like how they did it here. It kind of takes up the sporty feel a little bit more. Um, we get new daytime. Um, we get new rear lights at the back too. I like the look compared to the old model. And then two big dual exhausts right at the bottom. And we bet they're going to be the snap crackle pop that we see in like the Velocity N and stuff like that. And then these two mid lights in the middle um i think those have the reverse lights maybe some more brake lights uh, i feel like the design of the cone in general would be better if they just went with the top light uh but whatever and that's pretty much what we see from the uh from the exterior uh photos but if we do talk about the interior hyundai hasn't revealed that yet but we can look at the Kona N line and we can kind of see what they would put on the actual N model. So from these pictures here, we're obviously getting better tech compared to the old Kona. So we have the 10.25 inch um, instrument cluster and then a 10.2, uh, 10, 10.25 inch um, infotainment screen here. Um, they they have the vents. They have vents and interior seating, um, paint um, stitched in a red color. I think for the M, they would obviously change it to blue because that's the N color. Um, and I think these seats would be made a little bit more sporty. They could either um, they would use something that we've seen in maybe the Sonata N line or maybe the Elantra N prototype that we've seen before. Uh, reviewers got a chance to drive that so I think it would be something along those lines here the steering wheel will be changed to blue of course um, but mostly I think what we see with this N line interior is a lot of what we're going to see on the N, in my opinion and of course we haven't talked about horsepower and torque we're talking 275 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque from that turbocharged four cylinder, they're gonna put in that dual clutch automatic from the Elantra N. So along with the performance, we're talking front wheel drive as well. Um, it's kind of disappointing that they didn't put the all wheel drive in, but that would probably jack up the price and also the weight of the vehicle as well. So maybe that's why they choose to stick with front wheel drive. Uh, but I feel like the person who buys 
a Kona N over a Lantra N or a Velocity N would probably want front wheel drive, but that's just my opinion. So in terms of competitors for the vehicle, there's not too many um, that I've seen. Um, I try to wrap my brain around it, but the closest one I can think of is maybe the Ford Edge ST, and that has uh, 335 horsepower, front wheel drive, but it doesn't really drive like a ST, if you know what I mean. It's not really performance handling and stuff like that, and I think that's where the Hyundai um, Kona N would excel. So when we're talking about the U.S. markets, um, basically Hyundai has this sector all by itself. There's nobody else that really uh, produces a cheaper performance. Um, I guess you can consider it a CUV or kind of a hot hatch consider how much they lowered it. But yeah, but in Europe, you guys do have some competitors for the Kona N. So you got the Ford Puma, the Volkswagen T-Rock R. Um, you can also, we also get this vehicle as well. We got the uh, many JCW uh, Countrymen. But for the most part, Hyundai basically has the market in itself. And you only have like one to two choices for this type of vehicle. So I think, I guess it would be a home run um, because it's basically a winner by default. But one thing I do want to address is the safety features as well. It'll probably be the end line is considered pretty fully loaded and they'll probably get most of a uh, majority of the safety features that are in current Hyundai models. The Hyundai Velocitor N gets lane keep assist, forward collision, avoidance assist, driver attention warning, uh, blind spot collision monitoring, High beam assist, rear cross traffic alert. I feel like the Coda N is supposed to be more upscale. Might add things like maybe adaptive cruise control because it uses a DCT instead of a manual, and maybe a few other um, highway drive assist stuff like that. Um, because it's stuff like that. So I think overall the package will be pretty good. It'll be a pretty good package. So if if you if you're someone who needs like the the practicality of the hatch of the SUV, you you want some performance. You want some performance, fun to drive. Oh, uh, you need it to be daily drivable. I think this Kona N will fill a pretty good void in the marketplace for someone who wants those kind of features, because because really. Cars like the X3 40i or the X3M, you know, those kind of luxury cars offer stuff like that, but it's a super expensive thing. So, and this does it for a reasonable price, probably most likely under 40K. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, um, it's just a quick look at the car. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, maybe I'll be able to drive this in the future. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.